And all right, guys, I'm back. Got ourselves a nice one today. I think I've showed this one before. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. But it's a Hazy L, Hazy IPA from Bell Breaker Brewing Company right here in my town. Looks like we got 6.2%, and they don't really give us much more than that. But I've had it before. It's a good one. Cheers. Soft mouthfeel, bright citrus and juicy combination. Really good. I'm really. It, I, I could recommend this to a newbie, no problem. Good stuff. <clears throat> All right, I believe I saw somewhere that BBS Live was doing a citrus themed week. So I'm busting out some Lakewood Soap Company, sweet orange and chili pepper, uh, towel shaving soap handmade in Jefferson City, Tennessee. So <clears throat> I have used this one before. See the ingredients there on the side, a fairly simple soap base. You got a nice uh, side label. It even comes with directions for use. It's good stuff. This is a uh, firm soap, although it is pliable. You can dent it, you know, with enough pressure. Um, but fairly firm. And the scent on this one, almost entirely like 99% sweet orange. Don't let the pepper scare you off. It's almost entirely sweet orange. And then right here, we got our lather bowl absolutely caked with some beautiful, shiny, dense looking lather. And we got our Hair Force One Badger Knot on top with our Grizzly Bay uh, red and black handle here. He called it the Deadpool handle. I am mad at that. Really good stuff. All right. It is Monday, so we're going to get in a menthol Monday shave as well. I'm just going to kind of wet the cheeks and neck and we'll get into this. So, got my uh, Sterling Soap Company mentholated pre-shave bar. I'll just slide that out, dip the, uh, the edge of it in water and kind of work it on to the face. I really like this uh, Sterling mentholated pre-shave because it applies real easily and it's just kind of like that entry level menthol so if you just want like the bare minimum slight chill the uh, sterling mentholated pre-shave for the win so that's what it will deliver all right let's see where can I put this I got shit all over the place so I gotta <laughs> figure out where to put it Alright, <clears throat> get the fingers wet and kind of break that soap down that's up against the skin, kind of break it down, get it into a sudsy formation. And that way it will incorporate with the lather, no problems. <clears throat> the scent strength on this one is right about medium. I think the fact that it is a citrus forward soap kind of helps it, you know, get its chin over the the middle section. Um, but nevertheless, sweet orange. I mean, just like the label says, nice citrus scent. That is what we are looking at. Real good stuff. What I like about Lakewood Soap Company they uh, have this motto, uh, simple ingredients, exceptional quality. And forgive me if I get that wrong, but it is something of the sort. And I absolutely love that. I don't know. I don't know why that just hits so true, but they don't have a laundry list on their soap tub. It's fairly simple but damn does it not work good stuff and along with that comes a very nice price point 
I don't have it uh, here, but I'm sure on my previous uh, first impressions of the, the soaps, I listed it. Probably should have read up on it. I think it sits somewhere around the uh, 15 to $16 mark. So, we can get in four ounces, 16 16 dollars not too shabby just painting in a little bit more water here and then we'll get going sorry if the uh, air conditioner bothers you but it's too hot to not have it so hopefully it's not too much of a nuisance I haven't really heard a lot of negative feedback about having the air conditioner there so it must not be a problem. I don't watch my videos before I post them. I just post them because I dread editing. <laughs> so it is what it is. All right. We got our Yanez razors. This one has the white abalone, the red uh, G10 liner and spacer, 7 eighths quarter hollow, very, very, very beautiful razor. All right, let's whip this thing open and get with it. It's only been a few days, but feels like so long since I've used my, my new straight. I went uh, I went single edge heavy last week because of single edge week. That was fun. That was that right there was kind of right up my alley because of all my Schick injector love and my artist club love. Very nice. So, hope you guys had a good day. Hope you had some good shaves. It was a it was a long one for me. It was hot, over a hundred degrees. Um, I'm in the warehouse, but certain parts of the warehouse that I got um, I got put on for a few hours were way hotter than others like the uh, dock area. I got put out there for a while to cover someone. Um, they had to leave for a few hours. So I got put out on the dock to cover someone. And it is considerably hotter on the dock where the uh, bay doors are constantly opening and closing and whatnot. Not cool. But, oh no, it was an easy day. It was just a little bit uncomfortable because of the heat. <clears throat> I definitely feel for those who have to work in uh, extreme temperatures and environments. Definitely have a lot of uh, sympathy. Man, <laughs> that shit ain't fun. Ain't fun. I used to work at a um, production facility that made uh, plastic bags. <clears throat> and, um, in the winter time, it was about 80 to 90 degrees in the facility. And in the summertime, it was up over 120. And I worked there for like five, six years. I felt like I was going to be a wrinkly old man by the time I was 30 and so I was constantly looking for a way <laughs> constantly because I mean it was 12 hour days so it was 12 hour shifts that's before any overtime or whatever that's just 
that's just the norm, 12 hour shifts. Um, and then on top of that, they had this rotation where you would go from day shift to night shift every four weeks. <laughs> and so it was like you just get used to a sleeping schedule, then they'd fuck you. <laughs> You're going to a different shift. And it was every four weeks. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. You could just never get used to it. But yeah, we would put thermometers up in the summertime. And uh, it was kind of like a uh, Easter egg hunt for management because we would hang them up and management would take them down. And we would hang them up and management would take them down. And it's like they didn't want us to, to know about the the extreme temperatures that were up there. It was nuts, man. <clears throat> they, they paid good. Had good benefits, incentives. Um, gave raises on time and regularly. But man, it was just, it was hard work. The environment sucked. A lot of injuries. And... I just, I, I had to get out of there. I'm, I'm blessed that I got my job at the post office. All right, let's get the second pass popping. Absolutely loving this new razor. kind of settled in to its unique uh, feel on the face. It kind of was the only straight that ever gave me this unique feel, but now that I've became a little bit more familiar with it, uh, no problems whatsoever. I just kind of wanted to make sure that that line was where I wanted it to be. So Citrus Week should be fairly easy to accommodate. A lot of Citrus Forward soaps out there. It's the summertime, so people are probably in the mood for some bright, refreshing, sweet citrus this time of year anyway, so definitely should not be hard to get people to participate in this one. Don't see a whole lot of Lakewood soaps um, on Shave of the Days or in YouTube videos and I don't think they're very active on social media but been around for a long time they produce a high quality soap no reason not to show them some love there's one thing about me you know I, I love the big huge um, hyper or hype brands in our community, the ones that really get a shit ton of accolades and love. But I have a lot of love for the lesser known brands too. They don't go quite as hard on social media, but they produce a fantastic product. There's just something about my um my spirit to like use new things that makes me check out these lesser known brands when I see a brand I don't know I kind of I'm like ooh never tried that before you know and I'll look into it and I might not act right away but I'll see it again and the interest is peaked again. And sooner or later, 
I'll pull the trigger on it. And more often than not, I'm pleased with what I find. That is definitely the case with Lakewood soaps. I saw it a few times. And eventually I took the plunge. Bought a single soap. And um, it was real good stuff. And I was like, damn. And then I revisited it, bought some more, you know. It's it doesn't take much, you know, to to get hooked. And I think uh like in Lakewood Soap's case, that's exactly what happened to me. I just that first attempt got me got me hooked. And I don't have like their full lineup or anything, but I have like four cents. And um I enjoy them all. I usually do this part off camera. <clears throat> but uh, I have a quite prominent uh, Widow's Peak. comes probably down to about there-ish. And so I always do a little lineup off camera with whatever razor I'm using that day. And since I'm making good time on the video, might as well do the uh, lineup on camera. <clears throat> Pretty good to me. Kind of get that little across the ring. Looks like I snagged that fold a little bit, but it looks like it's just a little tiny. Little tiny dots, so no, uh, no big deal there. That'll close right up, no problem. All right, let me just clean that off, set it to the side. Definitely don't want to get that thing wet. Get all this lather off. We'll throw some aftershave on, and we will call it, we'll call it a shave. So yeah, liquid soaps, simple ingredients, exceptional quality. If you haven't given them a try, definitely check them out. They're still banging around. <clears throat> still good stuff. They have some uh, really cool offerings. They have one that's uh, kind of based on a uh, whiskey called Honey Mash. Um, they have smoke berry, kind of like a ripe blackberry with a smoke note. <clears throat> Obviously this one's pretty unique, the sweet orange and chili pepper. I feel like you don't get like any chili pepper scent, but there is this sensation. If you use it without menthol, it's more noticeable, obviously. Using it with menthol kind of, the menthol will take over because it's so subtle. But there's almost like that spicy food sensation when you're uh, when it's on the skin it's not uh, it's not like a frag burn or anything like that it's hard to describe almost but it's unique to chili peppers <clears throat> it's whatever that oil or whatever the hell is in chili peppers and chili peppers alone it's kind of like that comes through in the soap. Not uncomfortable. Or, yeah. Yeah, not uncomfortable. <laughs> I was making sure I didn't do like a uh, double negative and say something I didn't mean to say there. Alright. Get the rest of the lather out. Off camera. Before we go, I'm going to finish up with a little of Barrister and Man's Seville. That is a citrus forward barbershop scent. Got a nice restrictor there. This uh, aftershave is in their Deltas formula. Real good stuff. Little bit of a tingle, but not much. Let's get a little bit more on the neck. We'll do a double dip. Do a Mac Shaves double dip. 
This is a wonderful, wonderful barbershop scent. That's for sure. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Hope you had a good Monday, and I hope you have a good rest of your week. And I'll catch you on the next one.